Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So we are using Born Pretty. We are using Jelly White Gel and CG038. And these are tips we're going to use today. So we're going to do a sweater set today. Um, so it's Christmas sweater and it is day six or seven. I can't, I just can't remember. Hang on. Yep, it's day seven. So I actually did this set just to post on my own, but... I thought, well, why not post it in the 12 days of Christmas? So this is going to be a Christmas sweater, but I'm going to use two different foils today. So um, I will apply two coats. I apply two coats of the white, and I only apply one coat of the blue because it's really opaque. It's such a beautiful, beautiful blue. Before I forget, I do have discount code for all the products I'm using today. Um, they always are in the description box, and there's direct links as well just before I forget to say that because half the time I get so carried away with what I'm doing I forget to put the codes up <laughs> um, so yeah definitely take advantage of them codes and I do know that Born Pretty have some sales on and yeah I know yes I'm pretty sure the sales are still on I'm sorry if you can hear Teddy snoring it seems to always snore whenever I'm doing a voiceover <laughs> But anyway, yes, so on this one we're going to do the top half blue and we will do the bottom little bit um, with the white. I'm sorry if you can hear him snoring. He's like, he's so relaxed that he just snores <laughs> so loud. If you've got a French bulldog, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> he snores like a human. Anyway, that's all the nails there. So um, I'm going to, oh no, I'm going to continue doing um some of the nails so this one i'm going to put it um across uh, i'm going to do a french give me one second so yes as i was saying we're going to do a french on this one so um, i'm just going to use my brush first off um from the bottle and then i will go in with a liner brush just to you know just to neaten it up a little bit more um <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at Teddy. He snores so loud. Really, really loud. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, I'm just going to go in just with a liner brush and just knead it up a little bit more. Um, so, this set is going to be super easy today. It's literally just gel polish colours and a couple of foils. So, really, really easy. Um, I will have the playlist pinned in the comments. Hang on, let me rephrase that. I will have the playlist pinned in the comments. <laughs> right, so on this one, I'm going to go down this way with this one. And then what I'm going to do is, I think it's this one. I'm just waiting for it to catch up. Um, yeah, I'm going to go in with a ombre brush and I'm just going to feather it up just a little bit. Just a tiny bit all the way along, just because I wanted to create like a little bit of texture. So go all the way along, and then I will cure that in my light. Um, Born Pretty gel polish takes 60 seconds. I think it's probably two minutes in the UV light as well. It normally is. Um, so there we go. Once I'm satisfied, I will cure that. Right, so I'm going to wipe the tack layer off all of the nails because there is always some pigment left and I find my foil glue seems to work better if I remove the tacky layer. Um, so I will remove that off of the nails and then I'm going to go in with my McCart nail foil glue and I'm just going to put it where, because I want foil on the bottom of the French. So I want it on the bottom here. So as I always say, if you do it like this, Make sure you're not getting too much on now. It just slid down the stem of the brush and there was way too much on there, so I had to take some off. Just make sure you're not putting on too thick a layer, otherwise, it will wrinkle. It will. So just make sure that you know it's it's even um, and it's not you know massive thick layer. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom of this one, and then this one I'm gonna do like a strip here. Just across here and again I'm making sure that my layer is thin and it's ever I want it to be 
and then this one I'm going to do a full nail and also wiping off the tacky layer you can actually see where your foil glue is because it will be shiny again so that's always a bonus so I'm going to go in with Christmas jumper and also Christmas sweater so these are from Charlie's um, she has lots and lots of different foils on on her website you really should check it out and they're all affordable as well she has loads of different stuff on there all types of glitters there's shapes there's glitter mixes there's dots hexagons there's textured ones uh there's like milo on there holographic ones beautiful stunning and there's so many different like gems and um there's um yeah a whole array of different foils lots and lots of different ones for all like the seasons like um halloween valentine's uh christmas loads and loads of different ones on there so it's definitely definitely worth checking out um so yeah anyway i'm just going to keep rubbing this and once i'm happy i will peel it off so there you go that is that one there we will come back to that one this one i got a fault i got a crease in at the top so it's a little bit wonky but I, I just I just went with it because I thought there's just because nobody's going to be wearing these there's no point in me redoing it um but yeah I got a really big big like um fold in it can you see it on the uh actually looking at it left hand side it's like starting to crease and there you go that was the fold and then it made the rest of it wonky on the side but I mean you could you could stick a bit of glitter there or a couple of gems no one would even know or you could just sort of like round it off at the top with with the same blue that you've used on the base you can do that um, just to mask it if you want to or you can just rub this all off with some acetone and do it again but as I said I didn't I didn't bother I just left it and just went with it um, so yeah, you just want to keep you know rubbing it until it's all transferred you'll be able to see if it's transferred because the color will be it will be duller so any parts that are not stuck will be really vibrant in color so that's how you can tell as well so it was still a little bit patchy but i just left it it's not it's not the foil it's just it's just me it's because i had the big fold in it um so there you go that is what that one looks like there give me one second and then on this one we're going to do the French. Give me one second. Right, so as I was saying, I'm going to put this on the bottom of this French. Again, this just didn't didn't want to adhere properly. I don't know. I don't know what was going on. I don't know whether it was just me. I think it was probably me because, I mean, I was doing back-to-back -back videos. So I was probably quite tired as well. Um, but yeah, I just, I just went with it. As you can see, kind of like, I don't know what was going on. I'm not quite sure unless I just didn't put it thick enough on the side. I'm not sure. But I do go back in and try and sort of fix it the best that I could. Um, maybe it just didn't. I don't know. Hang on. Sorry about that. I just had to tell the eldest cat off. Nelly, she had been naughty. <sighs> They're never too old to be naughty, are they, animals? <laughs> But anyway, let's get back to this. So I'm trying to patch this up the best I can. And I'm just like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So, yeah, I just I'm kind of trying to patch it up the best I can. This foil is very awkward to sort of patch up because there's such a big pattern on it. It's really hard. So we're going to go back in with this, um, with this nail. And I've just put some blue on my brush and... I'm just going to feather it up to there, just, just to create just a little bit of, yeah, just to add a bit of sort of texture, shading, whatever you want to call it, to the nail. So that is that one there. And then on this one, we are going to do that slant there. So we're going to do the same kind of thing as we did on the other nail. And we're just going to put it on, push it, rub it until... We are happy, so I'm just going to keep doing it, and yep, I just keep persevering with it. And I think I think this set is nearly done. I think 
yeah i think it is so you have to let me know what you think down below it's just a different sort of christmas sweater because i did i've done a lot of sort of ones with mm -hmm. acrylic and glitter on so i thought you know what i'll just i'll do something completely different i don't normally use foils well christmas foils like this i don't normally do it like this i normally use like stickers or stamping but yeah i'm gonna go in with these water decals i can't remember where i got them from i just do the stamping method do whichever way is easier for you i just pop a bit of water on the back leave it for sort of like 15 20 seconds just give it a little test see if it's going to slide off and the mistake i made here is that i forgot that i had wiped all the nails off so this didn't want to come off the stamper very well but if you just keep pushing it and wiggling it and sort of push pushing down and lifting it slowly eventually it will come off um or if you just if you don't want to do that you can just put um just put a base coat on and then cure it and then it will be tacky again so this one just yeah I don't think I actually get it off on camera, do I? No, I don't think I did, no. I think I gave up with that one, like, oh, really? So there you go, that's that one done there. So I'm going to place these ones on here. So as I said, just push it down and just sort of put the pressure back on and sort of wiggle it around. Like, I'm wiggling it here and just take it off very, very slowly and it will stick. Um, so yeah, I completely forgot I had taken the tacky layer off. Um, but yeah, I thought I would leave this in just so you can see. So there you go. And then I'm going to place one more. See, there you go. Just push it back down. Wiggle your stamper a little bit. Not too hard because you don't want to be tearing it or tearing the decal. And there you go. So this is this set done. Please uh, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and let me know your thoughts down below. And don't forget to check out the playlist as well. And don't forget to check out the description box for all the products I've used today and any discount codes and whatever else I've got down there. And uh, yep, yeah, just let me know what you think. I'm using the Born Pretty Matte Top Coat. It's a really nice matte top coat. So thank you everybody so much for watching and hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.